Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Vanguard Bandits. This is Troll Videl. Last time, Selworn mind controlled the Kingdom Army, and we had to fight a lot of people that we were friends with, or, you know, were at least good people. We didn't kill them, but we did have to disable all their mechs. So, uh, now we're gonna get into the plot for getting into the next fight. So, here we go. Just when I think Faulkner couldn't become any more evil, he does this! turning our friends against us and sacrificing his own people. Now it's his life that shall be ended. I feel that I owe all of you an apology for attacking you unjustly. I should have resisted that spell. It's alright, dudes here. I'm just glad you realize that Bastion is telling the truth about his lineage. Your Highness, I am sorry for having doubted you. I have brought dishonor upon the Kingdom Army. Nonsense. You did what you thought was right. I don't see any dishonor in your actions. I was able to make Ganlon admit to his involvement with Faulkner after a lengthy interrogation. I need to investigate further to determine the depths of Ganlon's betrayal. A fine idea. We need to know just how much Faulkner knows. Your Highness, I know I'm being abrupt by stating this, but I would desire nothing more than to have you return to the kingdom to restore it to its glory. Perhaps, Galvis, but I can't consider that until I've defeated Faulkner. Don't place too much faith in my ability to make dreams come true, Galvis. I'm only a man. Yes, Your Highness. It's, times we, it's time we start preparing our ATACs and tending to the wounded. Then we shall rest before our assault on a capital. We need to determine how to fight the Zalwern. Like, if we can fight Zalwern. Ah, Claire. Always cheerful. When I was hit by waves from the Zalwern, it felt as if my mind was being probed by a big hot, a red hot poker, and I lost consciousness. And when I woke up, you were pulling me from my ATAC. How horrible. I wonder why Bastion and I were able to escape the Zalwern's effects. Not that I'm complaining, mind you, especially after hearing Zalwern Sierra's tale. So, like, if Zalwern can do that to Duke Sierra, who's the one using... Who's... Who's using one of the... Who's using one of the... Excavede... Oh my god. Words. So, like, if the Zonworn can do that to Zuxiera, who's using one of the excavated ATACs, I totally guarantee Faulkner will be able to figure out a way to make it work on all of us. And what happens when none of us are able to resist his power? The enslavement of the continent is what happens, Claire. Our world will be cast into eternal darkness. We're under attack, everyone! There's a group of Imperial ATACs headed this way, and one of them is the Cerebalus. I think that's how it is. Cerebellus? Cerebellus. What? My brother, Duyer. We would help you if we could, but our ATACs are still being repaired. Don't worry, Duke Sierra. I'm hoping we can talk some much-needed sense to my brother. And if that doesn't work, I'll give him a much-needed beating. I sincerely believe I wouldn't want to be your brother right now. Let's go! Da -da -da. That's the Cerebalus, all right. And I won't guarantee Dier is inside it, and I guarantee Dier is inside it. He won't let anyone else into the cockpit. So, what happens if he's under control of the Zalwern? I don't know. Alright. So, we're gonna go into interview time. Interview time! Sadira's, uh, as you notice, has actually gone up. So, again, we cannot talk to Sadira. 
Uh, at this point, actually, doesn't matter because we're already in Cecilia stuff. But I talk to Cecilia. Soon, Bastion, I will have to make the most crucial decision of my life. But I don't know if I'm ready. All right, we will. We will talk to Sidira. We're already on Claire's. Uh, Claire's. Uh, Cecilia's final ending. So. Bastion, I feel as if you're drifting away from me. Is there anything you want to talk about? I feel so bad right now. Oh. And Franco, who's being awesome. I wish there was some way that I could I could lessen the Princess Sidira's burden, but she must carry it alone. All right, no more time to discuss anything. All right, and now we'll go to the briefing. Go. I will speak with Duyer. I should know very quickly if he's under the control of the Zalwern. If he's under Faulkner's influence, promise me you'll try your best not to hurt him. Of course, Adira. We'll use not we'll, we'll use non-legal strikes if we can. All right. And one thing to note: this is the last shop in the game. Last time you can buy anything. So, keep that in mind. If there's any weapons you need, I think I already have everyone with their best stuff right now. So I'm not too worried. That have the best stones at the moment, but uh, let's do stuff you can buy. I think the, the family jewels, which is the best accessory in the game, plus one to everything and plus 20 HP. So that is nice. So we're going to buy, actually, a couple of those, I think. You, can, you pretty much have access to almost every accessory in the game right now. So. We're going to buy... We're going to buy stuff. I'm going to buy family jewels. It's the last time to buy anything, so we'll just buy those. Can't hurt. See you later! Right, and we will equip them... She has Pegasus Boots right now, but I'm actually going to equip her with Family Jewels, just for the de at least for the extra HP, and also max out uh, her agility. So, there we go, Family Jewels for her, and for me as well, Family Jewels. Those two characters are the main ones we're working with, so that's the ones we're going to make sure are prepared for the final fight. I'm going to work on my speed maybe a bit on him. I don't know. We will see. That, uh, this is the second to last fight. We're fighting Duyer and some of the remnants of uh, some of the Imperial Elite in Shark Kings. So, next time everybody, it's going to be a hard fought battle. So I'm going to save in here. Alright, next time everybody, second to last battle, closing in on the end. Later.